Hello primary 2, I hope you are fine. And let's start the grammar lesson. Today we will learn what the singular nouns and what the plural nouns. Let's see what the singular and the plural nouns. For example, it's one flower. One flower, it's a singular. But they are three flowers. Three flowers, they are plural. It's a one cow, one cow, but they are two cows, two cows. It's a one pen, it's a singular. They are three pens, three pens, they are plural. It's a one tree, one tree, it's a singular, but they are four trees. Four trees, they are plural. Okay, primary two. After learning the singular and the plural nouns, we have a very important note. With singular nouns, we use a or an. Again, with singular noun, we use a or an. When we use a and when we use an, we use a with a consonant letters like L, M, B, G, K and so on and we use N with five letters vowel letters the R, A, E, I, O, U again we use N with vowel letters what are the vowel letters? they are five letters A, E, I, O, U for example, fish, it's a singular and start with consonant letter F, so I will say a fish. Second example, Ben, it's a singular and start with consonant letter P, so I will say a pen. Third example, tree, it's a singular and start with consonant letter C, so I will say a tree. Let's move to an. First example, and. It's a singular and start with vowel letter a. So, I will say an and. Second example, egg. It's a singular and start with vowel letter e. So, I will say an egg. Third example, apple. It's a singular and start with vowel letter A. So I will say an apple. Again, a fish, a pen, a tree. An ant, an egg, an apple. And now let's move to there is and there are. There is or there are معناهم يوجد. When we use there is and when we use there are. Let's see. Let's start with there is. There is. When we use there is, we use there is with a singular noun. Again, we use there is with a singular noun. And as I said before, primary two, with a singular noun, we use a or an. For example, there is a cow at the farm. There is a cow at the farm. Second example, there is a goat at the farm. There is a goat at the farm. Third example, there is a cow and a donkey. There is a cow and a donkey. We use there is because it's a singular noun. Let's move to there are. There are, when we use there are, we use there are with plural nouns. Again, we use there are with plural nouns. And we don't put a or an with plural nouns. Let's see some examples. The first example. There are cows at the farm. There are cows at the farm. Second example. There are goats 
at the farm. There are goats at the farm. We use there are because it's a plural noun. Okay, primary two, now we finished. Don't forget the first question. Choose the correct answer. The second question, fill in the gap. The third question, rearrange. And the fourth question, match. The fifth question, write the missing letter. And the last question, copy the following. Okay, now let's move to how to ask about numbers. إزاي يسأل على عدد شيء معين. To ask about numbers, we use how many. How many. How many يعني كم العدد. And always how many followed by plural nouns. Plural noun. Again, how many لازم يجي وراها اسم جمع. For example, how many goats are there? How many goats are there? She answer and say, there are 25 goats. There are 25 goats. Look, read and write yes or no and complete. Goodbye, primary two, and see you the next time.